uh, game on tomorrow? Yeah, game on tomorrow. Uh, wow, what a day it's been. Um, boy, first of all, my thoughts and prayers are with everybody in town and through the out South Louisiana. I've been so nervous with family members in New Orleans and Thibodeau and Baton Rouge and everybody, what they went through this morning. I haven't heard of any injuries or anything worse than that. I hope that that's the case. Um, it was a crazy morning this morning. One second, I'm talking to the coach from Alcorn State to see if he wants to play a double header tomorrow. And the next minute, I'm standing out there at the doors by the Champions Club watching a storm like you rarely get to see. I said I've never seen a storm like that, but perhaps I have. I've lived through many hurricanes, but man, it was dark and nasty. And then I came out here and I said, something looks different about the field. And I said, where do foul poles go? <laughs> there were no foul poles. And then I could you know, see that the, that the center field screen was all ripped and all around. And then I noticed that uh, all the advertising on the back of the, of the uh, uh, bleachers was, was blown off. And then I happened to notice that the back of the bleachers in right field looked pretty disfigured. So obviously we had some damage out here. So then we had to huddle up with the grounds people and the facilities people and our administration. And we had to defer to our administration as to whether or not we would be allowed to play. So that anyway, the decision was just made that, that they're going to have to really hustle and do some cleanup work. But um, you know, the idea of playing two games tomorrow, we had to, we had to uh, trash that idea. And so we're just going to go ahead and play a scheduled one game tomorrow night at 6.30. How about the foul poles? We're actually going to play with uh, with modified foul poles tomorrow night. The coach at Alcorn State is fine with it, even if we didn't have foul poles. But I think they're going to rig something up. Or maybe we get a 20 foot extension, uh, something temporary. By the time we play Missouri in almost two weeks, then they'll have regular foul poles up again. But uh, for tomorrow night, we'll get by with something more modified. Uh, they're also going to take down the, the windscreen on the, the playing side of the batter's eye for tomorrow night unless they feel that the wind dies down and they get somebody in to repair the one that's there now. Uh, but otherwise they might just have to take off half of it so we don't have a flapping screen. And then they're going to have something that they do with the, the, the same people that put in the bleachers are the same people working over at the tennis courts building the new tennis thing. So if they can repair those before tomorrow, they will. If they can't, they're going to have some way that they control the seating in the right field. I don't know exactly what they're going to do. But uh, outside of that, we think that everything else is very safe and, and secure and you know, the field will be ready to go. Uh, our tarp ripped as well uh, in the wind, but we think we've rigged it well enough that um, it should keep the field dry and we're going to have to get a new tarp. Hopefully we